play as the father and the mother. I have a choice. Uh, father. Western Union. Hmm. And your grid to inform me you that your daughter, Virginia. Virginia! Has gone missing. No need to come here as we have our full staff looking for her. You would just be in the way, Dr. Henry Hummer, Superintendent of the Canton Asane Asylum. Oh, jeez. That's really freaking quiet, man. This must be the cafeteria. Hmm. Okay, that's blocked though. Do I have the ability to read these? Go through these drawers? No. Wait a minute. I need to make sure if I have a little cursor. I don't think I do. I hate when I don't because then I can't tell where I'm supposed to be aiming. Mm, no, I don't know what this is. Oh. That's empty. Or I can't get into that. I can't get to that either. Hmm, sunshine door looks nice. I don't know. Alright, so I can only go into the one door that's open. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Pretty standard stuff. That JPEG scenery. Excuse me, what? What the frick did I just do? And what happened to this place? I'm missing something. Oh, okay. See inventory, I. Right. J to open journal. What did I miss? What the frick? You gotta have to pick up all this crap. I missed something? Come on, man. What? Did it just crash? I believe the game just crashed. Get the frick out of here. Pick up the axe. For some reason, it's at seven. There's nothing here, so. This isn't real. Well, it's good to know. Wait a minute. This change up? No, the layout didn't. No way. The layout changed? This room wasn't here last time. There was this room.
or this area. I don't know where the frick I'm supposed to be even looking. I'm supposed to find two more pages, right? Okay, now I know, I know this place. I think. Yeah. What? What happened? What just happened? That was a weird, uh... Also, I like how the axe still takes up my inventory, even though I don't have it anymore. Lovely. Alright. I believe I've made some progress. Because that happened. Hmm. Um, hmm? Community group is over. I'm not sure who thought having insane people entertain each other was a good idea. Surprisingly, everybody was there today. Nobody killed themselves. That makes it a good day. Somebody cried today, but somebody always cries. Today's goal is to keep myself distracted and try not to think of new ways of killing myself. I told them I'm past it. Been there, done that, I said. But they didn't think it was funny. I remember something else about my dream. The man in the hat was wearing all black. Even his hat was black, and his skin was black. His eyes. I can't describe his eyes. It was like he had no eyes. Yeah. Just empty sockets that seemed to be pulling on my soul. I, I had met. I remember being so happy. Enjoyed meeting her earlier. Away from here. But now I'm afraid where he might take me. I'm lying awake in bed, my neck sore from sleeping on one pillow. I asked for another, but I need a doctor's order to have more than one. My sleep medicine has worn off, and I'm once again a prisoner to my insomnia. I decided I might as well start writing things down like they asked. I'll get bonus points towards extra dessert, and something to do for now. I can hear the person in the next room snoring, people whispering, and the phone ringing at the nurse's station outside. I'm remembering the dream I had last night, where a tall man in a hat came to my bedside and told me he would take me away soon. I'm making a mental note to mention it to the doctor later. Well, alrighty then. That just means you're crazy. The voices, they talk to me. Oh crap, I'm in dead end. He's right there. Run! Which I can't because I'm trapped. Alright. Frick, he was in that area. Well, I found another piece, or a journal entry. So I got one more, actually. Process group with the social workers seem like a huge waste of time. Everything we talked about after they said we were having sloppy joes for lunch seemed to have nothing to do with me. I tried bringing up my dream, but that just led to a discussion of more medication. As everyone was getting up to leave, Tanya walked me to the bookcase, reached behind it, and pulled out a book. She told me to read about the shadow people, and specifically someone referred to as the hat man. She said I would find my answer there. Interesting. Well. Ah, these... Wait a minute. Ah! The voices. Okay. I thought they implied that he was near. But no, it just implies there's a journal note, but... 
patients about their encounters in the asylum. Or a journal page, or page in the journal. I see the hat man just the way I did. I was still reading when they called lights out. Now, I don't claim to know much, but reading about a man who paralyzes people, chokes them, and steals their soul is not recommended reading for insomniacs just before bedtime. Yeah. But now I know who I'm dealing with, even if it's only the meds creating him in my head. Yep, 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 yep. I assume going into the dark kind of draws him out more, which makes sense. Not too sure. Even my light flickers in the dark. Ooh, that shading was terrible. Wait, I've been here. No. No. Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Ooh, there's a curve. It's gotta lead to something, right? Where are the voices? Ah! Oh, frick, there's a second line. I'm not dead. At least I don't think I am. My butt still hurts from the chair I sat in while reading. I have to spend all the eternity with a sore butt. Those people should really get a padded chair. He got into my head. I saw him and tried to escape, but he got into my head. Uh. It's those eyes. Seems like some sort of limbo, somewhere between life and death. I don't see anyone else, so I guess I'm on my own. It's strange that the only thing I have is my journal. That's not in this it journal. It must be because I was holding it when I got here. If I learn anything, I will write it in my journal. It seems like it might be the key if I ever want to get back. Well, that's not what's written down. I've written down. Okay. No. Another one of these empty. Oh, never mind. Ooh, number another one. I'm attaching a picture here from the book of the Hat Man. If I go missing, go look for him. What if I disappear and no one comes looking? I need to make it through the night. What? Oh Lord, I can't move my mouse. I'm gonna trap myself actually. There's probably something down there. Oh, frick. This place is huge. It's huge. Mm. I'm going to be going around the circle here. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. At least in their hallways. Well, hmm, pianos.
Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to look for her journal entries. Oh, what's that? Matches. Why would I need matches? Hmm. Oh. I guess back down here again. I don't know how to crouch, so. Options, controls. Alright, here we go. Um. Is it run? Crouch is C. Mm, okay. This is a good idea. I would not. I don't know if he can go through those things. Is that it? Dang it, man. Here, no whisper. Oh. Oh, crap. I was kind of trapped. Are you kidding me? Okay. One more time. I gotta find all those journal entries again. Frick. Well, at least I know the whispering means I'm nearby. So it's like Slenderman, basically. There we go. Almost back to the same one I had last time. Alright, let me read this to be safe. 
You're sure about it. I'm lying awake in bed. Commuter. I'm attaching it. Alright. I heard something. Frick! You dumb thing. Now I gotta loop around. Is it even possible to loop around? No. Because I heard one there and didn't hear until after he showed up, and I'm like, well, freaking nice, thank you. I think it can move around. Nope. Bye. Hmm. Frick, I don't even remember which way it was. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's frick. It is like slinging. He's just constantly following you, and you gotta, you gotta outrun him. I think he gets faster every time you find a page. Unless he doesn't know where you are. I mean, that could be a thing. No way he catching up. Oh, oh frick. Oh. That scared me. Oh yeah, now I don't have those matches anymore. I don't know where those are. Oh. Well, there they are. You know, I say, where's the matches? There they are. Oh, frick. Oh crap. Uh Oh dang it, I'm stuck. Yep. He's gonna kill me or the spikes are I can't get out of here. Oh well I think I'm done because I'm not doing that again.